Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, lecture series where we'll be solving the problems from CMOS analog design by Professor Bizat Razavi. In the last video we were solving question number 2.5 part B. In this video I'll be solving rest of the parts from this question. So this is the circuit. We have a VX connected to one of the terminals a 1.9 volt connected to the other terminal the gate is connected to plus 1 volt this is uh, similar to the previous question we are not sure which of these two nodes is a source or drain so when Vx is less than 1.9 volts, this should be the source, this should be the drain and vice versa. Since Vx does not go above 1.5, so for our range of voltages, this node will be the source, this node will, will be the drain. So the current will flow from drain to source since it's an NMOS. Before doing that, let me reiterate all the process parameters that were used in the last in the previous questions. Threshold voltage is 0.7. For PMOS, it's 0.8. Of course, it's the modulus. Mu and COX W by L is 4 mu p c o x w by l is 2 okay so since this is the source v g s is 1 minus v x v d s is 1.9 minus v x VGS minus VTH is 1 minus VX minus 0 0.7 which is 0 0.3 minus VX you can clearly see VDS is always greater than VGS irrespective of the value of VX so for the range of Vx which is from 1.5 down to 0 the transistor is in saturation and also the current direction is this so I'll use a minus Ix here this should be equals to mu and Cox W by L half of that VGS minus VTH whole square which is nothing but mu and COX W by L 0 0.3 minus VX whole square and we can use simple graphing calculators to plot this current equation but this is completely wrong why uh, it is quite amusing that we can uh, overlook some of the facts right off the bat the most important of which is since this is our source and this is our gate the source cannot go beyond gate voltage minus the threshold voltage so Vx if Vx is greater than 0.3 volts that means Vgs is less than 1 minus 0.3 which means Vgs is less than 0.7 volts what is this 0.7 volts this is our threshold voltage and what happens when gate to source voltage goes below 7 point uh, below the threshold voltage the transistor ceases to operate the trans the, there is there is no current in the drain the range of voltages 
for which this transistor will conduct current is only between 0 and 0 0.3 and yes the transistor is still in saturation only that the saturation current will go down exponentially our curve should look something like this at 0 0.3 volts the current should be zero before that we can have uh, some current it can be like this it can be like a parabola i'm not sure so this is how the current looks like let us quickly move to the next part part d and here we have a pmos And uh, this is how the circuit looks like. The gate is connected to 1 volt. Okay. So in PMOS, the source is at a higher potential than the drain. So this node should naturally act as a source. Which is unlike what is depicted in the picture. But since the source and drain are interchangeable this source this node is a source and this node is the drain and in pmos current flows from source to the drain because the carriers are p type or rather the carriers are holes and the current direction is ix vsg is 1.9 minus 1 volts which is 0 0.9 volts VST is 1.9 minus VX the overdrive voltage is VSG minus VTHP which is 0.1 volts so as long as the absolute value of VST is greater than 0 0.1 volts the transistor will be in saturation in this case since the range of Vx is only from 0 to 1.5 the absolute value of Vst won't go below 0.1 volts so the transistor will always be in saturation and this is the saturation current equation which is nothing but a constant term or rather a negative constant term and I don't think it's necessary to put it on the graph and anyways the values don't matter so this is how the current should look like when the range is from 0 to 1.5.